Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and I hope you guys are all staying safe and at home if you're in quarantine or if you're in a country that's asking you to be self, some practice some self-isolation. Personally, I've been at home for about two, just over two weeks now because I got a regular cold. I didn't get COVID-19, but decided to stay home and not spread my germs anyway. And now my entire country has called for us to work from home if we can. So uh, <laughs> I've got a lot more time at home, uh, a lot more time on my hands at home. So today I wanted to make a video answering a question that I got on Instagram. And by the way, if you guys ever wanna ask me questions, you can message me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My social media handle is the same on all three of those. It's at Quinton Watt. Uh, the links are also in the video description or in the description of every single one of my videos. So uh, let's take a look at this question that Abby sent me. So uh, she, Mrs. Abby Gearing says, hello, Quentin. I have been following your MySQL tutorials, which have been super helpful in helping me understand the server side of things. By trade, I am a graphic slash web designer. I had a couple of questions that I was hoping you'd be able to help me out with. I seem stuck and I am missing a few puzzle pieces being completely new to this. That's completely understandable, Abby. I mean, if you uh, if you haven't seen it, everything, or if you haven't seen the side of things before, it's it's going to be a little bit hard to connect the puzzle pieces. Uh, I have a front end React theme that I wish to connect to my database, but to but to uh, <laughs> excuse the typo. I I'm I make typos all the time. Uh, I want to. I have a front end React theme that I want to connect to my database, but but right now all I have is database tables, and I wanted to know. Uh, do I have to make the views before first before connecting my information to the React theme? And if so, do I create views as an SQL query or simple PHP code um, for backend views? Or do I use API keys um, once all is complete to connect everything? I'm just a little over my head and I wanted to know your opinion. Sorry for all the questions. Um, also, if you notice that there are a better way to achieve this, I appreciate your advice. Uh, I'm more than happy to buy you a cup of coffee, so please send me the link. So, uh, Abby, thank you very much for the cup of coffee. I really appreciate that. Just by the way, if you guys don't get what the whole coffee thing is about, Abby is one of my patrons, and if you guys contribute to me on Patreon, you are indirectly buying me a cup of coffee to reward me for making videos for you, answering some of your questions, or just teaching you something new every week. So right now, Abby has a database, a MySQL database, and she's got a front-end React theme. She's actually got an Angular theme, but it doesn't matter. You can swap out Angular, React, or Vue for this answer. It doesn't really matter what front-end framework you're using. You could use either one of them. Um, you got a MySQL database and you wanna connect those things together. Typically, what you'd need is an API in the middle. So you need an API or a backend to uh, fetch information from the database and then transfer that data into uh, JSON because you want to have a JSON object to return to the front end uh, or to your SPA, your React, Angular or Vue.js website. So that's kind of how you connect everything together. So if we take a look at the tooling for this, uh, what you typically need is maybe set up an API with something like Laravel. And if you guys haven't seen it already, I actually have a tutorial series on how to make an API with Laravel. So go and watch that. But what that'll allow you to do is use Laravel's eloquent ORM, which is um, going to allow you to really easily create uh, or fetch and carry information from the database. And then uh, Laravel has a lot of other really great tools for creating and factoring up data for your database. And it will automatically return all of that data when you fetch it uh, as a JSON object. And all of that is covered in my how to make an API tutorial series with Laravel. Uh, so watch that and you will have one half of um, the, the answer to this, which is fetching information from the database and converting that to JSON. And then the next thing you need to do is set up your front end app. So that can be with NPX create React app or uh, whichever front end framework you're using. And typically those front end frameworks will send what is called an HTTP request to your API. Uh, and this can be a get, post, put, patch, or delete request. 
and then your API can handle any one of those requests. So normally what you would do is you'd install a HTTP library like Axios into your front end app and Axios allows you to send those get patch put delete requests. So Axios will allow you to send through one of the HTTP requests, one of the restful HTTP requests, and then your API will respond accordingly. But if you're just trying to get information out of the database, normally you would use a get request and that'll get the uh, data from the API. You can store that in a variable and loop through that and display it in uh, your front-end application. Now the great thing is I've actually set up an entire project doing this with both React and uh, Laravel. So take a look at the description of this video below. There is a link to a uh, GitHub repository and this is a mono repo. So there's actually two projects in that same repo. Uh, follow the instructions on how to set it up and I will definitely be making tutorials on how to do this kind of stuff in future using both React, Vue, and uh, Laravel. So start looking forward to uh, seeing some of those videos on the channel because we will be taking a deep dive into all of that. And I just wanna say again, thank you very much, Abby, for the coffee. I do appreciate it, it tastes really good because I chose it, but uh, you know, thank you for being a patron. And if the rest of you guys wanna support me and wanna help me make more videos, consider becoming a Patreon uh, or a patron on Patreon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.